I know Michael Jordan's the greatest ever, but he's also probably the worst athlete turned actor ever, don't you think? The NBA All-Star Game around the corner. The folks here at Cinefix asked me to count down my favorite basketball movies of all time. Everybody knows from Twitter that I'm a huge Hoops fan. Go Knicks. So here's my starting five, plus a few more off the bench. Two documentaries make the list. The first is Through the Fire. It's from director John Hawk, and it tells the story of Sebastian Telfair, who's the cousin of Stefan Marbury, and his final season at Lincoln High School. It documents his senior year, all the recruiting that comes, if he's going to go to the NBA, how his family members are involved in the whole process. Director John Hawk, who's done so many great films over the years for ESPN, does a really nice job of taking you into the world of what it's like to be one of the most heavily recruited high school basketball players of all time. Sebastian Telfair didn't really pan out in the NBA, but this movie did. It's one of my favorites. The other documentary was nominated for an Academy Award. It's Hoop Dreams. It's a story of two kids in Chicago's South Side during the 1990s who are on the path to making it big in the world of college basketball and hopefully the pros. You follow these kids from an early age throughout their entire high school experience, you meet their families, you see what it's like to have people enter your life who are looking for a free ride. As these kids develop a name for themselves and become highly recruited, highly visible young stars in Chicago, it's heartwarming, it's moving, it's sad at times. It's so well done because you really get a chance to live and breathe with these kids and experience all their ups and downs. Hoop Dreams is a must for any diehard movie fan or basketball junkie. Next on my list is Kazam. No, I'm kidding. It's another Shaquille O'Neal movie, though. It's Blue Chips with Nick Nolte as the coach of a big-time, fictionalized college basketball program. Neon Badeau is the character that Shaq plays, and he's got a famous line where he says that the SATs are culturally biased. Be honest. It's kind of like the program for football, but for the world of big-time college basketball. Big-time fan of Blue Chips. Give it a shot. The Stooky Brothers, the Stooky Brothers. Foods with the letter Q. White Man Can't Jump makes the list. Billy Hoyle and Sidney Dean are played by Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes. Rosie Perez plays Woody Harrelson's girlfriend. The two of them are playing pickup basketball games throughout Venice. They play two-on-two -two for money. It's got great moments of comedy, great drama. I love when Rosie Perez goes on Jeopardy. That's one of the best sequences in any basketball movie. Who is Peter the Great? Who is the Emperor of Constantine? Who is King John? Yes, correct. He's in the zone, man. Anybody who loves basketball loves White Man Can't Jump. Anybody who's played two-on-two -two in the park quotes this movie, White Man Can't Jump, definitely on my starting five. Another movie on my list is Above the Rim, which takes place in the mecca of basketball, New York City. A young Dwayne Martin is a high school kid who's getting recruited to go to Georgetown and some other big time schools. But he's also playing in the summer leagues in New York in the streets and is recruited to the life, if you will, by local gangster Birdie, played by Tupac Shakur. Remember that scene where Tupac like, has a razor blade in his mouth? I never knew how he could do that. Pretty cool. Leon plays the older father figure, if you will, to a young Dwayne Martin. Marlon Wayans is in the movie as Dwayne's best friend. I was a huge fan of New York City street basketball when I was a kid. I would always go up to the Rucker Park or go down to West 4th Street to watch the games. And this film really captures that world in the early 1990s. Any basketball fan, of course, knows Above the Rim. Probably the most romantic basketball movie is Love and Basketball with Omar Epps and Sanaa Lathan. They play two childhood friends who go on to play at USC. Omar Epps is the young hotshot star who falls in love with Sanaa, who's kind of under the radar, makes the team as a walk-on, but then becomes a big star in her own right, going on to play in the WNBA. They've got a great dynamic and chemistry in this. I love Love and Basketball. It came out in 2000. And it's, uh, it's on my list of favorite basketball movies. All right, it's no secret I'm a diehard New York Knicks fan, and it's no secret that I'm a diehard Spike Lee fan. So obviously, He Got Game is on my list. This is a passion project for Spike. It's set in the world of high stakes, high school basketball. Jesus Shuttlesworth is played by Ray Allen. Denzel Washington plays Jesus's father. He's in prison for a domestic violence case. And the warden at his jail wants his son, played by Ray Allen, to go to the warden's school. So he gives Denzel a week out of prison on parole to try to convince his son, who he's had an estranged relationship with over the years, to go to the warden's university. It's Spike Lee's 
masterwork for basketball. Everybody knows Spike's a huge NBA fan, and everybody knows that He Got Game is one of the best basketball movies ever made. Little known fact, in the movie's climactic one-on-one -on -one game between Ray and Denzel Washington, Denzel didn't tell Ray Allen that he was gonna be going 100%. So on the first take, Denzel scores the first two baskets of the game, which had Ray Allen completely surprised. Director Spike Lee kept that moment and that sequence in the movie. And then the NBA player in Ray Allen kicked in and he went on to win 11 to two. And of course, no list of basketball movies would be complete without mentioning Hoosiers, starring Gene Hackman as coach Norman Dale in a small Indiana town where he takes a high school team to the state championship using the help of a local drunk played by Dennis Hopper named Shooter to bring the best out of this group of young guys. Hoosiers uh, represents a, a golden era in American basketball, small town basketball. Every coach who has ever coached high school basketball has stolen lines for that movie to hype up their players before a game. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says at the end of the game, in my book, we're gonna be winners. Gene Hackman in one of the best performances of his incredible career. If you haven't gone and seen Hoosiers, then you're not a basketball fan or a movie fan. So I'm sure you've seen the film. It's definitely the best basketball movie ever made. If I left a basketball movie off my list that you really love, let me know in the comments section below. I don't know, I didn't include Space Jam because it's really not that good. What's going on here? Let me know some movies I left off below and be sure to check out the New York Knicks this season as they go deep into the playoffs. All right, later screen addicts. Watch Ariane Celeste as she tests your knowledge of Star Trek and reveals a lot more than answers. Uncle Al and Jack debate the identity of Bigfoot aliens as Tom Cruise fights to save the world again. Grey Drake gives you the top 10 animal movies for fans of Fuzzy Fauna. Ben Lyons and Devin Faraci conquer Sundance, bringing you all the latest news. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.